going on everybody? Skittle Kicks here and I am back at you with another Convoy edition with the Dazzler Nation. Uh, we are rocking a couple of really cool trucks right now. These are 1949 Peterbilt 350s. Let's uh, go on the truck here and take a look at this. Look at this old school bad boy. Now this is part of Fleet Week and I know it's a retro truck but this just dropped. Let me uh, turn off my map here. There we go. And as you can see, this looks amazing. Uh, I went with a very orange color because this was, you know, color looked pretty good in the sh in the uh, paint booth, and why not running some Michelins and running? I am running uh, polished and chrome rims uh, because it's really kind of hard to find like really classic rims uh, from that era. But they did run the ten the ten hole design. Uh, but man, this thing looks so cool. And I had to, I had to add chrome. Um, because there was so much orange <laughs> it was so much orange but uh yeah so we're going to be heading out we're just going to pick up some random loads there's no special thing we're doing uh can't do any heavy loads because our engines are not super powerful but that's because we use 1949 engine technology so anyway let's get on the road Yeah, I don't know why that's been happening a lot. The lights shut off like that. Oh, oh. Oh, old school, old school trailer stand. Look at that. I thought I was uh, a little bit too high there. <laughs> Uh, as soon as you pull yours, that's where I gotta pick mine up too at. Oh, I can feel the weight. Holy moly. <laughs> oh, imagine going up hills with this thing, man. This is not gonna be fun, man. This nope. is not gonna be fun. <laughs> We're gonna be testing the limits of these old Peterbilts, man. Testing the <laughs> limits of what these things can actually haul. Oh man, I can feel this weight. Yep. That horn is amazing. I know. Why is that not in every freaking truck now? That needs to be a thing. Oh, there we go. Oops. Oh, there we go. All right, trailer stand is up. Let's go. Oh man, drug is struggling, and that's for sure. Yeah, she is. I can just see the whole front end is lifting up. There's so much weight. Hey, Chrissy, what's going on, bro? Did you take out the uh, the three fifty yet on your side? Hazards off. I'm gonna have to go on the back side of this parking lot because oh. too sharp of a turn. Hang on this way. I was not paying attention to the road. Good job. Good job there, sir. Almost. Yeah. I... Did you pull those skittle kicks? Not yet. <laughs> not yet. It's coming. It's coming. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be coming where we're, one of us is going to really derp up bad and get hooked around stuff. It'll be me. I'm already going to call it. You're already going to call it? I'm already going to call it, you know, because I know that's a thing with me. All right. Must be pretty late because we're not seeing any traffic, or at least I'm not. It's uh, 9 p.m. Well, the traffic is pretty light then for this part of the area. Oh, God. People go to bed early out here. There we go. I'm, why is this thing fucking struggling? Like, because, why not? 
Wow. Going up that hill? I see even a slight hill and that's struggling. These old engines, man. I gotta, li I gotta, I'm gonna have to take this as far as I, like, as full throttle as I can. It does not like it. You almost have to have the inertia from the, from the time you corner. I must have done a different, I must have switched engines because this thing's actually going up the hill pretty well. It's not that much of a story. What was it, the Scott, Scott Hall or whatever fucking engine it is? Oh, yeah, I don't think, I may not have gone with that engine. I went with that engine because of my, oh, I never I, heard of this engine before. Well, now we know why. <laughs> kind of a little bit of a struggle, but, uh, it's right. It sounds decent, though. It sounds good. Yeah, I'm going to roll my window here. Yeah, roll on your window. It actually sounds pretty good. I'm going to go to my external cameras here. Oh, I'm right behind the horn. That's amazing. Oh. Uh, well, I'm trying to keep it legit, Mr. Crazy. I'm trying to get different ang camera angles here to see what it looks like, and that's yeah, sounding pretty good. Very, very old school engine for sure. You're using a Detroit Diesel 620 with an 18-speed motor. Oh, jeez. We're a couple of old uh, dudes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. You won't do this. Ooh. I think these are uh, bomb sounds. Yes, that, yeah, that's what he said on the uh, description. I wonder how good it would be with uh, on Z Mods. Uh huh. Don't know. The old, the older 3406 or the 3408. Yeah. Oh, those that was some beastie. Yeah, but this does not sound bad in my opinion. No. It's this sounds good. really amazing. I am very impressed by this engine sound. Hey, even the jig sounds pretty nice. Oh yeah, sure does. Sure does. Oh, look, we're going to take the exit here. Yep. <clears throat> oh God, I can feel the struggle. I'm watching you go up this hill right now. I can feel the struggle. 39,520 is the weight of the trailer. Yep. And we have 270, 270, 275 engine horsepower. Oh yeah, I'm like dropping down to nearly uh, 35 miles an hour up that incline. Oof. But you know, we're putting it to the paces, man. We gotta put them to the paces. Yeah, because you know they love to listen to the turn signals or watch them. Yeah. That is not a bad truck. Nope. It is not. It is not. And yes, guys, I do have a current filter for uh, for the gameplay. So what you guys are seeing is more black and white. Oh, I'm running full color on mine. Because I didn't set mine up to desaturate. <laughs> you could just add a filter after it in your post. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can desaturate in post, in post production, yes. But I should set my uh, audio setting uh, to more AM radio. You would slow down on a hill, wouldn't you? No, it's because of stupid boss. This car is actually going for me. Want to get in front of me now? No. Oh, you got it? It's a stupid boss that fucking... I don't see anything in front of you now. 
I mean, these, these things were not built for this kind of... I mean, this is like all post-World War II. And yeah. they were only just getting this stuff kind of developed. Yep. You know, out of military. So... Technically, they would only have a 10-speed back then. Not even a 13. I drive a 13 uh, and nothing else. But you're right. If we were driving 13s, or if we were, if we were driving 10 speeds, I don't think we'll be pulling this weight right now. You could still. It would struggle. Us, it would struggle so much. Even 13 speeds, you're still struggling. You're not. Oh yeah. Control. I mean, even 18 would probably have. Well, you did have the. Low, you would have the low low gear, so you could traverse the hill a little bit better. But hey. not by much, though. Welcome everybody to another uh, eight month edition of ADS. Ouch. Yep. Alright, I gotta get behind you because I have to pull in as well. Yep. I don't know, hit the gate break. I hear that sound a lot in this uh, area where I live. And it's gloriously sounding. All right, we're going to be sitting here for a while. <laughs> oh, of course. Our customer expects delivery very soon. Make sure you arrive on time. So we're going to be late. <laughs> we're going to be so late because of the stupid truck stop. Or uh, the waste, the scales. Hurry up, BHP. Hurry up, BHP. Jeez. Slower than molasses in January. Yep. Go about three miles per hour. Hurry up, Peterbilt. Hurry up, Peterbilt. Hurry up, Rachel. I was being nice. Got it. 69,681 total weight. Oofta. Like a six, I mean, a six volt lantern. Because that's what they would have had if this old truck was a six volt. I don't think 12 volt systems were actually fully developed yet. Or at least widely adopted. I mean, I'm surprised the headlights are as bright as they are. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get rid of the LEDs, man. Put halogens in. Like, like that are really yellowed or old, like they're fading. So your your uh, sight is just terrible. Yeah. That would be amazing. That would be cool. <laughs> hey, Smarties, if you're watching this, man. Halogens. 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 Make a mod, please. Be amazing. I mean, they've got halogen turn signals. How hard can it be to remodel a, a halogen light bulb? I'll have to look up, though, if, if trucks back then were running 6-volt systems or they were, were they running 12-volt or a combination. I don't remember. I don't remember. Pushing 50 miles per hour. I'm, lit I'm literally now, since that since that uh, rear end job I just got involved in, I'm now up to 55 miles an hour. Yeah, I'm pushing. And I, I'm probably at least 10 miles back from me now. I'm pushing at 2,000 RPM. Right? Yep, Yay. that's about where I'm at too. 2,000 RPM. Because. Yep. 
because reasons we can't explain. <laughs> Beautiful sounding truck though, I have to admit. There, finally rolled up my window. You stupid, you stupid asshole. Jeez. Yeah, I know, and it, with the brakes, because I have realistic air brakes turned on. That does not help. No, it doesn't. God. Did you, did you, did you actually run into something? Almost, like inch. Oh, see, at least you got that. I actually ran into the back of that Penske truck. All right, this oh, is a, what God. turn is this? Is it a right turn? No, that's... So you basically get off and then... Yeah, what, how does this make sense? Because USA was like that. Forward elbow of this sort of thing was the, uh... Apparently they did not think... I could have just gone straight, man. Because the map did not end. I don't know why they wanted us this way. Yeah, this makes no sense. I don't know. I didn't make no map. I just drove the truck. Yeah, same here. It's a very, very sketchy environment they did. Um, I know it's not technically fleet fleet, but because it's such a beautiful truck. And we could not resist this being there. part of the fleet. Yeah. Retro fleet is still part of fleet month as far as I am concerned. And I won't have it any other way, man. These old trucks are just something very special. Yeah. Now, if this came out during our uh, retro Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? That would have been amazing. Oh. This would have been one of the oh, first ones we drove. Yeah. This would have been one of the first ones we drove, and this would have been amazing back then. But don't worry, boys and girls. We'll definitely showcase the, these uh, beautiful trips again. Yep. With some more retro skins. Oh, man. This is a trip deal to climb. Oh, my gosh. This is just hurting me bad. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you know, you know what? I'm looking at how the road is. Okay, I can see why they didn't want us to go straight because look at how the map is. It completely separated the two worlds. So there was no way to get off on this road um, at that point. So, no, you had to do that, I guess. You okay there, Grandpa? What? What? Calling me Grandpa? Yeah, calling you Grandpa. Oh. I didn't hear that. Uh, can you hear this, you son of a bitch? <laughs> That's my screw you horn. <laughs> there it is. Get up right here, Bessie, come on. Come on, Bessie, you can't let the Dazzle Nation beat you. There you go. You're getting it. Ah, uh, yes, now we gotta go down the hill. Let's put oh. us some jake break. There we go, he's got some jake break going on there. After 100 yards, turn right. I might have to change out the engine after. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like this engine, but eh. Turn right. You're just having all kind of problems, aren't you, buddy? Oh, shish kebab, that's not fast. That is not fast. actual. That was oh. fast. Security check. I don't know oh, you, do, you know, do you know why it's so slow? Because they literally start you off in the grandiest of gears, gear two. Yeah. Granny gear to no wonder it's so such a pain in the butt to get up the hill. You can't start up in five or uh, After 100, or nine. Turn left. Oh well. Turn Still left. a fantastic truck, though I've got to admit. I am not disappointed at all in the quality of this uh, this uh, first temp mod. I'm definitely gonna have some. Uh, Old 
definitely. some gears? Put some gears. Oh, they want me over here. Yeah, Why I'm looking at my flag now. Looks like I'm over there too, but I don't know where. Why well, oh Well, what the heck? This is a tight squeeze. Yeah. Where is my drop off at? I must be over here. Like over this way. The toy. That's a very tight squeeze. Nope. Where am I supposed to go here? Double check your map. Uh, you like, I gotta, to I gotta do that. Yeah. You might have to be beside what, beside where I'm going. No, I think uh, I gotta go more towards the uh, to the right. I think I'm actually behind. Yeah, I'm behind all this stuff here. It looks like all these all these oil drop offs. So I got to go back here, it looks like. Man, that truck engine sounds amazing. Jeez. I like slowly maneuver, maneuvering this freaking uh, load of uh, tubes. All right, hopefully I'm in the right area because I'm looking at the map and it's like such a dumb place. Okay, so I can see now. Okay, there it is. I found it. It's by these uh, K rails. All right. Now let's take this a little bit wider than the thing is. Bring the nose in a little bit. Try to get it to straighten out before I get to the finish line here. You said finish line. I did. There we go. Perfect. Drop that trailer off. All right. Late, of course. $397 out of my, how much, I, I, yeah, this like half my money is gone. <laughs>